you all, I am Unique, known as Chef Unique, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This will be my first video of giving you guys a full out recipe of what I do and how I create my amazing food. For those who have joined my channel today, thank you. I am appreciative of you, all of you being here, and today I'm planning on making for you guys a flank steak recipe and a beautiful marinade lovely piece of meat and I'm going to make it in a flatbread. It's versatile in many different recipes and I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are patient with me. Again, this is my first video and I am trying to figure all this out and hopefully it comes out well. I would love to have your feedback below as well as your subscription. If you like my video as well, leave some comments, turn on the notifications. I would greatly appreciate it. And so let's get into it. So we get started with a flank steak with some garlic, lime, honey, onion powder, tamari or soy sauce, olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, vinaigrette, and salt and pepper. In a baking dish or any deep dish, I will first start with a half a cup of olive oil. We're going to do a half a cup of the vinaigrette as well. I do a balsamic vinaigrette. This one's a honey balsamic vinaigrette. You can do any one you'd like. I then do about five dashes of Worcestershire sauce and the same for tamari or soy sauce, about five dashes or about a fourth of a cup. I then do a good drizzle of honey, about a tablespoon of onion powder, and then we're gonna do some lime. So I scoot the dish back, get that lime cut, and I use a lemon or lime juicer and I actually got both in here at the same time and I did two whole limes, so that's the second one here. And the lime is very acidic and it breaks down the meat and tenderizes it. I then use my garlic press and about five cloves of garlic here. I'll link below the garlic press that I use and the lemon lime juicer if you guys want to purchase that. So then I get that raw garlic in there and I get our salt and pepper. I did about a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper, and I go back a little bit more and do one more Just teaspoon kick. of salt. It's a big piece of meat, so make sure you get our seasonings in there. We're not gonna season it any further after this. And we're gonna flip it over, get that marinated, making sure we incorporate all the sauce and the seasonings. That one clove of garlic in there got away from us, but there we go. And so we're gonna use a flatbread for this recipe. I got Sadie Rose baking flatbread. You can use any flatbread of your choice. And on a hot grill pan, we're going to sear this meat for about five to seven minutes on each side. I let it come to temperature, so before grilling, I don't have to grill it too long because it's already up to temperature. If you start your meat grilling cold, you'll need to cook it longer. And of course, cook it longer based on your preference of doneness. So again, for a medium well, I did a about five to seven minutes on each side. And we took it out and placed it on our cutting board to allow it to rest. You must allow your meat to rest before cutting. And then I preheated my oven, got my flatbread, some provolone sliced cheese, and we're going to place that cheese right on top and get that in the oven for a few minutes for that cheese to get nice and bubbly and melted on our flatbread. While that's in the oven, we're gonna cut our flank steak. And now when we're cutting our flank steak, we wanna cut it against the grain. So here's more of what that looks like. The grain are the lines that are in the meat and against the grain is cutting it at the opposite side. And there you go. That is what cutting against the grain means. It's easier to cut and that's the cutting. And because I'm the chef, I am going to sneak a piece of the meat. You know, for quality control. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> Literally, I could just eat this by itself. You can serve it by yourself, by yourself if you want, without leopard, on a salad, or whatever you want with it. 
All right, back to cooking now. The flatbread is out of the oven. That cheese is nice and gooey. We're going to place our flank steak across the flatbread as such. And we're going to make sure that's spread evenly. You can put as much as you like or as little your preference. I like mine's pretty meaty. So there we go with a full meat spread across our flatbread. And I'm going to make a sauce for this. And this is a sauce that my boyfriend's taught me that he really loves. And it's a really great sauce. It's actually just an A1 sauce with some horseradish. Horseradish can be very spicy, so I only added a teaspoon to about a good fourth of a cup of the A1 sauce and mixed that together. You could do any sauce you'd like, but this is a sauce that I prefer. Add a little bit of water because it's really thick just to thin that out a little bit more to make it more of a saucy texture. And now we're layering our sauce over our meat over on our flatbread. And then we're going to get some pickled onions. I always keep pickled onions in the fridge. They're very easy to make uh, and they store for a while. So added in some pickled red onions here. And we then add some microgreens. I got microgreens from Sprouts. That's my local grocery store. They have them all year round. And at the end, I decided to grab some gargonzola cheese. I thought that would be the perfect addition to wrap this flatbread recipe. Gargonzola cheese goes very well with steak. And so I added in a few crumbles of that on top, which ended up being the perfect addition. And add as much as you'd like. You can also substitute that for blue cheese if that is on hand. Then I take the flatbread and put that on a wood platter. And there we are. It is made and it is so beautiful. And it smells so good. And it's so amazing. All the flavors of the steak, the program cheese, the crispy flatbread, the pickled onions, the gargonzola cheese. It all marries so well together. And I get my big boy knife out and I chop down my flatbread into some triangles. And now here we are, our flank steak flatbread. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Okay, so now let's try it. Mmm. That cheese on top was perfect. The perfect last minute addition. We gotta do a food dance because if you don't dance with your food, I don't trust you. wraps up the video you all and I appreciate you all watching here's a bit of a blooper moment that I thought I had where I was biting and the steak did not want to come apart and there's the sauce and there we go <laughs> but it was really good